Hey everyone, welcome to another video of the React Masterclass series. In this video, we will do a deep dive into the React components. So let's get started. We'll start with what is a component, what are the different types of components in React, and the major features related to the components. First of all, what is the React component? Components are fundamental building blocks of any React application. It divides the complete view into small, small pieces, and each piece can be treated as an individual component. The components are reusable and they work independently. So it makes your application very easy to maintain. It defines the presentation logic and it returns the JSX. So there are two types of components in React. First is functional component and second is class-based component. So functional component are simple JavaScript functions. They can optionally take parameter as props and they return the JSX code to render on the DOM. So let's see some example of functional components. So I'm creating a simple function and I'm naming this component as a car. So one convention to remember that the first character of your component should be in the upper case. Here we can return a JSX. So we have already talked about JSX in the last video. So you can find the link in the description. I'm wrapping it in a section. I'm adding a heading to it and I'm adding a para to it. So as simple as that, this is a functional component. One thing to remember that you have to import React over here. So you can see that the simple JavaScript function and uh, the component name is over here. And we have written the JSX, right? Talking about a class-based component. So class-based components are simple JavaScript classes, but they have to extend the react.component class. One additional feature about the class-based component is they have different lifecycle methods. We'll dive deep into the class-based components in the next video. And one another feature of the class-based component is they have inbuilt state. So let's see some example of a class-based component. Suppose I have to convert the same car component to a class-based component. The way I'll do is I'll create a class named car and I have to extend react dot component over here then i have to implement a render method over here and i have to return jsx in the method so i can place the same jsx over here and that's it this i'll name it as car v2 just to avoid the name collision this is a functional variation of it and this is the way we'll define using the class based component now let's see how to render this component in order to render a component, we create a React root element, which we add as a container for the React application. And within that container, we can render any components. So let's see how we'll do that. So you can see that in my HTML, I have a div with an ID my app, right? So I get the reference of that element and I'll use React DOM dot create root and pass this DOM node as an argument. And this will create a React root element. Then within the react root element, I can do root dot render and then I can pass any standard JSX to it. So I create this const element equal to I'll pass it car component and then I can render it over here. You can see that the car component is rendered over here. If I see this is my app container and within it, you can see this car component is rendered, right? And I also installed this react dev tools i'll add the link in the description you can also install it it helps to visualize the entire component tree this is the extension react developer tools and you if you open that over here then you can see that this star component is rendered over here right so not talking about props props are like function arguments in javascript in order to send the props to the component we use the same syntax as the HTML attributes. So suppose this is a tar component and we have to send one attribute that is a brand. So we can pass this attribute as a string, like we define HTML attributes. So let's see an example of this. Suppose I have to pass a brand over here, say Mercedes. In this functional component, I accept it as a props. I can specify over here props dot brand so props is an object i get brand as uh, an attribute within that object you can see that now this is a mercedes car right one thing i can also do is i can destructure this props right so that i can get so suppose i have multiple props then i can simply destructure over here and then i can use it so this way it will be much more simpler to use it so i can also use this destructured variable over here that will also work fine i can pass multiple props to my component so i can pass this color props 
and uh, I can destructure over here a Mercedes car this color we need my test this you can see that there's a Mercedes car with red color so I can pass multiple props to my component these can be treated as function attributes and they will eventually add dynamic behavior to my component components can also have a state so the state object is where you store the property that belongs to the component. Props is something that is an attribute passed to the component. It can be passed from the parent. But state is something that resides within the component. These are the properties that belong to the component that is contained within the component. And whenever the state changes, the component re-renders. So we'll see some example of the state when we'll deep dive into the class-based components. And we'll also see how uh, we can use a state within a functional component using the hooks. Now, let's talk about composition. We can do composition within our React components. So I already have this car component. So let me define another component, which is a wheel component. Okay, and let's add some props to it. So we have a return over here, which will return the JSX. And I have a simple div over here. I'll add a wheel and I'll use a number variable. So I'll destructure this props and I will add the wheel number. Okay, so I have to render this. So I'll now I'll use this wheel component over here. I'll add four wheels to my car. So I can simply add it as a child component within car component. This is simple JSX composition that we have already discussed in the past video. So I have passed this props number 1, 2, 3, 4. And here you can see that I have used the number over here. Let's see how it renders. So you can see that the car component is rendered with four wheels, right? So this is the way that we can compose. We can, I can define multiple other components over here say like exhaust, engine, window, all these components and I can directly compose. I can use the components within other components. I can also use all those components under this car component, right? So this is the way that you can compose different elements within the act and that is how the components are very reusable. So that was a high level overview about the components. In the next video, we'll deep dive into the class-based components. So stay tuned if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button.